Good morning everyone. For this video, we will tackle about goals and scope, methods and strategies, teaching of Araling Palipunan or Social Study. First, let me have an introduction. Social Studies education develops right from kindergarten and into high school to help students. It understand their place in the world. Social Studies teaches children their roles and responsibilities particularly in relation to social and civic affairs. It helps students develop critical abilities, prepare them to participate competently and productively as concerned citizens, and teaches them to address societal and global concerns using literature, technology, and other identifiable community resources. Social studies include history, geography, political science, sociology, economics, and civics. And it is an integral part in ensuring well-rounded education in the K-12 curriculum. From that introduction, we will see that social studies or Araling Palipunan are very vital and necessary to discuss in Kinder to Grade 12. Next, we have the teaching of Araling Palipunan. First, we have the goals and scopes of teaching Ar Araling Panlipunan. The teaching of Araling Panlipunan is expected to contribute to the development of a holistically developed citizen who is aware and knowledgeable of and critically analyze current social issues and concerns in the local and global level. The key stage standards from kinder to grade 3 na ipamamalas ang panimulang pagunawa at pagpapahalaga sa kalipi, pamilya, paaralan at kumpidat sa mga batayang konsepto ng pagpapatuloy at pagbabago, distansya at direksyon gamit ang mga kasanayan tungo sa malalim na pagunawa tungkol sa sarili at kapagigirang physical at sosyo-kultural bilang kasabi sa komunidad at ng mas malawak na lipunan. From grade 4 to grade 6, na ipamamalas ang mga kakayahan bilang batang tutok dito, mapalagutan at makabansang mamamayang Pilipino gamit ang kasunayan sa pagsasaliksik, magsisiyasat, mapanuring pag-iisip, matalinong pagpapasya, magkamalikhain, magkikipagkapwa at pagunawa sa mga matayang konsepto ng geografiya, kasaysayan, ekonomiya, pamamahala, sibika at kultura tungo sa pagpapanday ng mga ilan na kinabukasan para sa bansa. From grade 7 to grade 10, na ipamamalas ang mga kakayahan bilang kapataang mamamayang Pilipino na mapanuri, mapagnilay, malikhain, may matalinong pagpapasya at aktibong pakikilaw, makakaligasan, mapanagutan, udoktibo, makatao at makabalsa na may pandaigdig na pananaw gamit ang mga kasanayan sa pagsisiyasat, pagsusuri ng datos at iba't ibang sangunian, pagsasaliksik, pagisang komunikasyon at pagunawa sa mga batayang konsepto ng geografiya, kasaysayan, politika at kultura tungo sa pagpapanday ng pangulat na pinapakasan para sa bansa. So, when we say thematic method, it is the learning revolves around a theme. And while the conceptual approach, it's the students figure out the attributes of a group or category that has already been formed.
by the teacher. So next is integrative approach. So so when we say integrative approach, teaching and learning are more meaningful and further enriched if lesson is connected to other disciplines or interdisciplinary and is connected to real life experiences or transdisciplinary. So below there are three questions that can be used. The first question is what happened? The second one is, why did it happen? And the third one is, what are possible consequences? Good morning everyone! Another methods and techniques in teaching Araling Panlipunan is lesson and indigenization. Explaining using thought, patterns, and materials of indigenous communities. Or in other words, how can we contextualize or localize our lesson plans that can excite our students to find meaning inside the classroom. Another is using varied activities to cater the students' multiple intelligences and learning styles. In learning styles, we have mastery exercise practice. Examples of classroom activities are direct instruction, drill and repetition, demonstration, competitions, Activities that focus on organizing and managing information, practicing a skill, observing, describing, memorizing, and categorizing. Next is interpersonal experience or personalized. Examples are team games, learning circles, role playing, group investigation, peer tutoring, personal sharing. Activities that focus on describing feelings, empathizing, responding, and valuing. Another learning style is understanding, explain, or prove. Examples of activities are inquiry, concept formation, debate, problem solving, independent study, essays, logic problems. Activities that focus on classifying, analyzing, using evidence, applying, comparing and contrasting, and evaluating. Another learning style is self-expressive, explore, produce. Examples of activities are divergent thinking, metaphors, creative art activities, open-ended discussion, imagery, creative problem solving, activities that focus on hypothesizing, synthesizing, symbolizing, creating, metaphorical expression, and self-expression. With regards to intelligences, we have verbal linguistic. Examples of classroom activities are discussions, debates, journal writing, conferences, essays, stories, poems, storytelling, listening activities, and reading. In logical, mathematical, we have calculation, experiments, comparisons, number games, using evidence, formulating and testing hypotheses, deductive and inductive reasoning. In spatial, we have concept maps, graphs, charts, art project, metaphorical thinking, visualization, video slides, and visual presentations. In bodily kinesthetic, we have role-playing, dance, athletic activities, manipulatives, hands-on demonstration, and concept miming. In musical, we have playing music, singing, rapping, whistling, clapping, analyzing sounds, and music. In interpersonal, we have community involvement projects, discussions, cooperative learning, team games, peer tutoring, conferences, social activities, and sharing. In intrapersonal, we have student choice, journal writing, self-evaluation, personal instruction, independent study, discussing feelings, and reflecting. In naturalist, we have ecological field trips, environmental study, caring for plants and animals, outdoor work, and pattern recognition. In existentialist, we have reflection and diary journal entry. 
Another methods or techniques in teaching Araling Panlipunan is conduct a survey or interview. Survey research is obtained by an individual who asks questions to acquire a collection of specific facts, opinions, and attitudes, while interviews are where an interviewer tries to elicit helpful personal information through conversation, probing, and follow-up questions. Next, methods or techniques is service learning. Service learning is a form of experiential learning where students apply academic knowledge and critical thinking skills to address genuine community needs. Service learning involves almost any helping activity, which is we generally refer to direct service and direct and advocacy. When we say direct service, it includes tutoring, serving meals, working with patients, helping a refugee family, walking poster dogs, or participating in events at a nursing home. Many psychology and education courses incorporate direct service. When we say indirect service, is doing something behind the scenes to help such as organizing a fundraising event, working in a resale shop, stocking a food pantry, collecting donations, or planting trees to help the environment. Fields such as environmental studies and sociology tend to offer more indirect service opportunities. Next, service learning is advocacy. When we say advocacy can take the form of students writing letters to government officials, demonstrating in a packet line or educating others about possible policy changes. Political science and criminal justice classes often feature more advocacy work. Now, why service learning is important? For beginners, service learning is important because it connects students' learning in the classroom with real-world experiences in the community. Students who participate in it are more deeply engaged in their local communities, gain practical skills, develop their career and personal interests, and are usually more engaged citizens. Hopefully everyone has learned something new today. Thank you for listening.